it is crucial that you stay submitted to a spiritual authority, to a spiritual covering that has got the right and the authority to stand with you in faith, praying over you for healing, for health in your body. Greetings, greetings. It's Joseph Zakama here and welcome once again to the Life in Abundance broadcast. I'm so excited that you have made it once again to this special broadcast. We are in the healing campaign. Now, the Life in Abundance broadcast is just designed to encourage you, to inspire you, to equip you with tips, tools and teachings so that you may live life in abundance, the very life that God wants you to live. We are in the healing campaign. We are talking about healing. Yes, we are talking about healing. Before we proceed much further, if you haven't as yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do me a favor. Subscribe, click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our broadcasts. And you can go a step further, share the broadcast with your loved ones so that they can also be blessed. Let's pray as we get into today's broadcast. Dear Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you. Our hearts are so full of joy for another opportunity to feed from your word, to be encouraged, to be taught, to receive healing and strength in our bodies. We pray that by your Holy Spirit, you minister to us and take all the glory for all that you do. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Once again, welcome. This is the last episode of our healing campaign. I believe that many have received their healings. I pray and believe that you too have received your healing. We are talking today on fighting for your health. Fighting for your health. We can put it another way and say resisting the enemy. The Bible in the book of James chapter 4, I think we can read that first of all, James chapter 4, verse number 7. James chapter 4, verse 7. The scripture reads, Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Submit yourselves therefore to God resist the devil and he will flee from you now because we live in a flawed world we live in a fallen world we will realize that from time to time the enemy will try to attack us in the area of our health and for that reason we must do our best to fight for our health to stand our ground and claim our healing, claim our good health. Why do we have to stand our ground? Because from time to time, the devil will send attacks on our way, trying to, to weaken our health, trying to challenge our, our health. But we have to do our part to stand, to resist the enemy in the area of our health so that we enjoy what God has made available for us. Now, the word resist is only used when there is a contest or a conflict or an opposition. So it is clear here that, yes, the provisions have been made. Yes, you love God. I love God. But it does not mean that there will not be opposing forces to oppose our health, to oppose our healing. The enemy will always be trying to pull us down, to weaken us, to, to bring sickness and disease. But we have to do our part, resist, stand the ground, put some effort. Yes, resisting actually calls for an exertion of effort. Resisting calls for uh, putting a little bit more strength, more effort, more resource in what we are doing. We are encouraging each other in this broadcast to fight for your health, 
to, to stand your ground, claiming your help, to stand your ground, resist the enemy in the area of your health. And there are a number of ways we can do this. There are a number of ways we can stand our ground and resist the enemy in the area of our health. Firstly, is by doing what we can to make sure that our physical bodies are fit and strong in the area of exercise, in the area of diet. Yes, do all that you can to make sure that you support your body to function at its best in the way you take care of it by exercising, the way you take care of it by feeding it well. The way you take care of it by uh, making sure your mental and emotional well-being is well taken care of. It's another way of resisting the enemy. You see, many times when we talk about resisting the devil, we, we only think of, of doing it spiritually. We only leave it to the spiritual arena. But I can submit to you that you doing your best to keep your body in good shape. You're doing your best to, to uh, uh, good eating habits, good exercising habits, good resting habits. It's another form of resisting the enemy. Yes, take good care of that body. Do all that you can. Exercise. Eat well. Watch your diet. Watch your mental and emotional health. You do well to yourself, to your body, and you do resist the enemy if you do these things. So number one way, do all you can in the physical, eating well, exercising, sleeping well, and sleeping good time to make sure that you are fit and strong. Put some effort. It's part of resisting. Put some effort. Then secondly, give yourself to a lot of the word of God and prayer. Giving yourself or indulging yourself in the word and in prayer is another strong force of resisting the enemy in the area of your health. Did you know, according to Proverbs chapter 4, we can read that scripture, that the word of God communicates healing and life to your body. Proverbs chapter 4, let's read Proverbs chapter 4. Um, from verse number 20. Listen to this. Proverbs chapter 4 from verse 20 in the King James, it reads, My son, attend to my words. Incline your ear to my saying. And let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Verse 22. For they are life to them that find them and health to their flesh. So God is saying this word here, keep this word, keep reading it, keep studying it, keep, keep it in your heart. Keep focused on this word. Why? Because this word is life to those who find it and it is health to their flesh. Your indulgence in the word and in fellowship with God through prayer, through worship, communicates life. To your physical body communicates healing and health to your physical body yes when you engage in studying and reading the word of god when you engage in meditating the word of god when you engage in prayer and in worship all those spiritual disciplines you are resisting the enemy you are resisting the devil anything he wants to send in your body you are resisting it by these disciplines. Number one, we say do your physical due diligence in eating right, in exercising, in taking care of your mental and emotional well-being. Number two, your spiritual disciplines must not be neglected. Do your very best in reading the word of God daily, in praying and fellowshipping with God on a daily basis. By doing this, you are resisting the enemy. Number three, the last one for today. You resist the enemy by fellowshipping with other believers. 
submitting yourself to some biblical spiritual authority, you are thereby already engaging in resisting the enemy. Well, you remember the scripture we read it earlier in some broadcasts from James chapter 5, chapter 5. We can read it again. James chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. We can get another lesson from there. James chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. Listen to this. It says, is any among you sick? Let him call the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he hath committed sins, they shall be forgiven of him. Do you notice something here? The person who is laying sick in this scripture is part of a body of believers somewhere and have leaders or elders over them. And now the scripture is instructing them that when you have fallen sick, call for those elders, call for those leaders of yours to pray for you. Which is automatically to me, it means to me that this this believer, this person here belongs to a group of believers where they fellowship. It is very important for you and I to fellowship with a body of believers that believe the word of God. And so that when time of challenges come, I have a spiritual authority, a spiritual covering that can come and stand with me to resist the sickness, the disease by praying over me. Oh, yes. I, I pray that you get this, especially in this era, in this generation of individualism, of me, myself, and I. It is crucial that you stay submitted to a spiritual authority, to a spiritual covering that has got the right and the authority to stand with you in faith praying over you for healing, for health in your body, as instructed by the book of James here. Three ways that we have given today to resist the enemy, to resist the devil in the area of your health. Number one, do your very best to keep your body in shape by exercising, by eating well, by sleeping well, by, by taking care of your mental health. Number two, is by giving yourself to the word of God and to fellowship with, with, with God by yourself as an individual. Find time to read the word, to study the word, to pray, to, to worship God at, in, at an individual level. And thirdly, fellowship with other believers. Place yourself under a biblically sound spiritual authority so that when you are sick, as instructed in James, you can call for that authority, for those elders, for those leaders to come and pray over you for healing. When we do these things, we are resisting sickness. We are resisting disease. We are resisting the attacks of the evil one. And for sure, God will fulfill his word because he is not a man that he can lie. What he has promised in his word, he will make it come true. Believe God for your healing. Believe God for your complete healing. For your well-being, believe God. I want to pray with you as I close this broadcast and close this series, as we conclude the healing campaign. I want to pray with you and to pray for your loved ones. You can believe for your loved ones. Maybe you have a brother, a sister, a relative who is not well. I want you to believe God for them. The Bible in the book of Psalms chapter 107 verse 20, the scripture says, He sent forth his word. And the word healed them. Mm -hmm. So as we send forth the word, as we pray, sending the word right now, I believe God together with you that you will be healed. Your loved one will be healed. And we will share the testimonies of what God has done. I'm praying right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe your word that by the stripes of Jesus 
we were healed. I believe your word that it is your good will and your desire that we be healed. We be in health and be prosperous even as our souls prosper. I believe your word that by the going forth of your word, it goes with the power to heal, to set free. Now I send forth this word to anybody hearing and to those that they are believing for. I send a word of healing. I send a word of recovery. I send a word of restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke sickness. I rebuke disease. I rebuke migraine headache. I rebuke backache. I rebuke stomach pains. I rebuke a, a pain of on any part of the body. I rebuke cancer. I rebuke you sugar diabetes. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You sickness and disease. Leave God's people. Leave the temples of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your healing from any kind of sickness and disease. I say, let God's people be set free. Let God's people receive healing. In the name of Jesus. Father, we communicate life. We communicate healing. We communicate the virtue of healing even right now. Thank you for doing it for us. Thank you for doing it for your people. Thank you for a free flow of your power even right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank God for healing. It is him who heals us. It is him who has made the provisions for our healing and for our well-being. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. And please share the broadcast with your loved ones so that they also Enjoy these blessings that God has given us, the blessing of good health. Till we meet again in, in the next broadcast, keep living life in abundance. Keep enjoying your good health. God bless you.